Hey, it's uh, Dan Morales, and this is Homebuyer Radio, episode number 45. And this week, I got another question, and the question was in regards to, you know, when I buy a house, do I need to get a home inspection, um, or is the appraiser going to work as a home inspector um, as uh, part of the home purchase? Uh, That's a really good question. Uh, A lot of times, you know, uh, clients uh, get confused and they think that the appraiser is going to be working as a home inspector, meaning that the appraiser is going to kind of go through the house and, you know, really check all the nooks and crannies, if you will, and just make sure that there's nothing wrong with the house um, that, you know, you should be aware of. Um, Yeah, that is a um, misconception and that is wrong. Okay. Um, The appraiser does not work as a home inspector. The appraiser appraiser's job is to go through and verify that the house that you are buying is indeed worth what you're paying for it, okay? Uh, they're just making sure that the market value is supported and that you're you're not overpaying. Now, if there's a, you know, a really significant flaw that's super obvious to the appraiser, in most cases, they're going to bring it to the attention of uh, the bank and to your attention as part of the appraisal process. Um, but, you know, don't rely on the appraiser to be the home inspector. Uh, you know, if you're taking an FHA loan, there's even a form that you typically sign uh, that says um, that you know they don't warranty to you the condition of the property, and it kind of tells you for your per, uh, for your protection, you should be getting a home inspection. Um, I agree with that. I, I think it is a wise idea to get a home inspection and have somebody go through the property in more detail, just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with the property um, that you know you wouldn't be aware of otherwise, right? Uh, the last thing you want to do is buy a house and then find out that hey, this house has a bunch of problems that are going to cost you a bunch of money to fix or or to rectify down the road, uh, or it's something that you know maybe could have been avoided or maybe you could have negotiated uh, to have those things, um, you know, fixed or repaired prior to closing uh, on the home purchase at the expense of the seller. Um, So home inspection, uh, definitely something I would do if I'm buying a house. When I've bought properties in the past, I have always done a home inspection. Uh, The other, I guess, side note to that is you want to make sure that you're working with a good competent home inspector who who really knows what they're doing. You know, somebody who's got, you know, a lot of experience in doing home inspections, not somebody who maybe just started, uh, you know, within the last couple of years. Uh, I would suggest somebody, you know, who has a lot of experience. You know, how do you know who the best home inspectors are? Uh, you know, truth be told, if you, if you hired a really good realtor, they generally have a really good team uh, of people who they work with. And of course, that usually includes, you know, besides a really good mortgage lender like myself, right? Because that's why I do this podcast. Uh, besides a really good mortgage lender, they generally have a good home inspector as well, too. And that home inspector, uh, you know, recommendation that you get from realtor is usually going to be uh, somebody who's really good and competent. Now, if your realtor is somebody who's new to the business and doesn't have a lot of experience, uh, first of all, let me ask you a question. Why are you using them? Okay, Uh, because, you know, this is somebody who may not have the experience necessary to really guide you through this process. Okay, so that might have been uh, your first red flag. Right. But the second red flag would be they may not have um, as deep of a Rolodex of resources to help you, meaning that they may not have really solid relationships with a good home inspector, a good lender, good title company, stuff like that, because they're still kind of maybe getting their bearings uh, in the industry. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean that every new agent uh, um, isn't um, you know well qualified or, or competent to be able to assist you, because uh, truth be told, I've met a couple of them within the course of the last year that even though they're newer, um, they have just done a wonderful job of building a network of good connections for their their clients and uh, just really taking good care of them. So just some food for thought, um, you know, just getting back to that baseline question. The baseline question, of course, being you know should I hire a home inspector? My answer is yes. I, I think it is uh, money well spent. I think it's a good idea. Uh, to have somebody go through that property, especially uh, for those of us who maybe aren't uh, the most knowledgeable when it comes to construction or construction-related things. Um, It doesn't hurt to have another set of eyes uh, go through that property uh, to make sure that there's nothing that um, you're missing uh, that maybe should have been addressed as uh, part of the home purchase. Okay, again, my name is Dan Morales. My NMLS number is 709-729. I am a mortgage loan officer. Okay, that means I write home loans, and I write home loans throughout pretty much the entire country, Uh, you know, pretty much all 50 states. Um, we work with. I would love to have the opportunity to have you as a client. Um, you know, pretty simple. We shoot straight. Uh, we're going to give you honest answers to your questions. We're going to give you honest solutions and options that uh, may work for you. Obviously, you have to be able to qualify for the mortgage. Um, 
But we're going to be able to, you know, in many cases, uh, you know, we're going to go to the end of the earth, uh, if you will, to find a way to help you get into that house. And if for some reason we can't get you approved for a mortgage right now, uh, we will definitely help you put together a game plan that will hopefully help get you there in the future as well, too. Okay. Again, Dan Morales, NMLS number 709729. You can reach me at 616-931-4629. You can find me on the web at danmorales, M-O-R-A-L-E-Z.com. So again, danmorales.com or email dan at danmorales.com. And again, North Point Bank is an equal housing lender.